U.S.-Iran tensions after Soleimani killing, all the latest updates. In this video I want to tell you about U.S.-Iran tensions after Soleimani killing, all the latest updates. Before starting video if you new on my channel kindly subscribe my channel and press bell icon like share and comment on video. Tensions between the United States and Iran escalated on Friday after a U.S. airstrike killed Qasem Soleimani, the head of Iran's elite Quds force, and Abu Mahdi al-Muhandis, the deputy commander of Iran-backed militias known as the Popular Mobilization Forces, or PMF. The Pentagon confirmed the strike, saying it came at the direction of the president. Soleimani and al-Muhandis's deaths are a potential turning point in the Middle East and are expected to draw severe retaliation from Iran and the forces it backs in the region against Israel and U.S. interests. Here are all the latest updates amid the heightened tensions as of Friday, January 3rd. Trump, Soleimani behind thousands of U.S. deaths hated by Iranians U.S. President Donald Trump took to Twitter to defend his decision to kill Qasem Soleimani, claiming that the Quds Force commander was behind the deaths of millions of people, including U.S. citizens and his own Iranian compatriots. Soleimani killed or badly wounded thousands of Americans over an extended period of time and was plotting to kill many more, Trump said. He was directly and indirectly responsible for the death of millions of people, including the recent large number of protesters killed in Iran itself, he added. Donald J. Trump check mark at real Donald Trump 36 meters General Qasem Soleimani has killed or badly wounded thousands of Americans over an extended period of time and was plotting to kill many more, dot but got caught. He was directly and indirectly responsible for the death of millions of people, including the recent large number. Donald J. Trump check mark at real Donald Trump, of protesters killed in Iran itself. While Iran will never be able to properly admit it, Soleimani was both hated and feared within the country. They are not nearly as saddened as the leaders will let the outside world believe. He should have been taken out many years ag 13.1k people are talking about this Iraqi parliament speaker condemns US airstrike Iraq speaker of parliament Mohammed al halbusi said in a statement, yesterday's targeting of a military commander in Iraq's armed forces near Baghdad International Airport is a flagrant breach of sovereignty and violation of international agreements. Iraq must avoid becoming a battlefield or a side in any regional or international conflict, he said. Hal Boussi, who is speaker as Iraq's top Sunni Arab politician, called on the government to take all steps needed to stop such attacks. Dozens of U.S. oil workers leaving Iraq Dozens of U.S. citizens working for foreign oil companies in the southern Iraqi oil city of Basra were leaving the country on Friday, the oil ministry said. The U.S. embassy in Baghdad urged all its citizens to leave Iraq immediately. Iraqi officials said the evacuation would not affect operations, production or exports. U.S. remains committed to de-escalation, Pompeo Washington is committed to de-escalation after a U.S. airstrike in Baghdad killed Qasem Soleimani, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said. Pompeo said on Twitter that he spoke to British Foreign Minister Dominic Raab and China's top diplomat Yang Jiechi about the U.S. decision to eliminate Soleimani. Secretary Pompeo check mark at Sec Pompeo spoke with at Heiko Moss about at real Donald Trump's decision to take defensive action to eliminate Qasem Soleimani. Germany is also concerned over the Iranian regime's continued military provocations. The U.S. remains committed to de-escalation. 2,786 people are talking about this Soleimani's body to be transferred to Iran flags at Iranian embassies abroad were ordered to fly at half-mast and preparations were being made for Soleimani's body to be transferred to Iran. The date for the funeral has yet to be announced. Responding to the U.S. killing of Soleimani, Iran's National Security Council spokesman Kayvon Kosravi said the legal, political, security, and military consequences of this crime is on the U.S. government. The costs that Washington has to pay will be much more severe than the mirage-like achievements of this sort of blind moves, he added. Tens of thousands rally against U.S. crimes Tens of thousands of people took to the streets in Iran to protest against U.S. crimes, after U.S. strikes killed Soleimani. Chanting death to America and holding up posters of the slain commander, the demonstrators filled streets for several blocks in central Tehran after Friday prayers. State news agency Erna reported similar demonstrations in the cities of Iraq, Boynord, Hamadan, Hormozgan, Sanandaj, Semnan, Shiraz and Yazd. 
Khamenei appoints Soleimani's successor Iran's supreme leader appointed Esmail Khani as the new head of the Revolutionary Guard's foreign operations arm. Following the martyrdom of the glorious General Hajj Qasim Soleimani, I named Brigadier General Esmail Khani as the commander of the Quds Force of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei said in a statement posted on his official website. In pictures, Iran's Qasem Soleimani killed in U.S. airstrike This photo released by the Iraqi Prime Minister Press Office shows a burning vehicle at the Baghdad International Airport following an airstrike in Baghdad, Iraq. AP photo, this photo released by the Iraqi Prime Minister Press Office shows a burning vehicle at the Baghdad International Airport following the airstrike in Baghdad, the Associated Press click here for further images related to the Soleimani killing. U.S. urges citizens to leave Iraq immediately, the United States is urging U.S. citizens to leave Iraq immediately, citing heightened tensions in Iraq and the region. A State Department statement added that due to Iranian-backed militia attacks at the U.S. Embassy compound, all consular operations are suspended. U.S. citizens should not approach the embassy. That comes after a crowd attempted to storm the embassy in Baghdad earlier this week to protest U.S. airstrikes against a militia supported by Iran. Hezbollah to continue path of Soleimani after U.S. strike, TV Lebanon's Hezbollah leader Sayed Hassan Nasrallah said his group would continue the path of Soleimani after his death, broadcaster Al Manar reported. Nasrallah said the U.S. would not be able to achieve its goals with this big crime and just punishment was the responsibility of all fighters, Al Manar reported. Israel's military on high alert Israel's military had gone on heightened alert amid fears that Iran could strike through its regional allies such as Hezbollah to the north, or through Palestinian group Hamas and Islamic Jihad in Gaza. Israel's foreign ministry and defense officials announced a high security alert at Israel's overseas delegations, fearing retaliation by Iran following the death of Soleimani. Israel's defense minister summoned the country's military and security chiefs to Tel Aviv in the wake of the killing. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has reportedly cut short his trip to Greece. Syria condemns killing of Soleimani, state news agency Syria strongly condemns the treacherous, criminal American aggression that led to the killing of Iranian Major General Qasem Soleimani, state news agency Sana cited a foreign ministry source as saying. The source said the attack constituted a serious escalation and reaffirmed U.S. responsibility for instability in Iraq, according to Sana. Iraq's Sadr mourns Soleimani, reactivates Mahdi Army Iraq's prominent Shia cleric Muqtada al-Sadr said the killing of Soleimani was targeting Iraq's opposition and jihad, adding that it will not weaken its resolve. In a statement, al-Sadr called on his militias, Army of Imam Mahdi, and other national and disciplined armed groups to be prepared to protect Iraq. He also sent his condolences to Iran. Keyes al-Khazali, the head of Asaib al-Al-Haq armed faction, said all fighters should be on high alert for upcoming battle and great victory. The end of Israel and removal of the U.S. from the region will be the result of the assassination of Soleimani and Muhandis, he said in a statement published by Iraqi media. Pro-Hezbollah newspaper Al-Akbar, it is war, Lebanese pro-Hezbollah newspaper Al-Akbar is leading with a comment by its contributor Hassan Alaikou on the killing of Soleimani. Who was Qasem Soleimani, Iran's IRGC leader? Soleimani acquired celebrity status at home and abroad as the leader of the foreign arm of Iran's elite forces Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, and for his key role in fighting in Syria and Iraq. He survived several assassination attempts against him by Western, Israeli and Arab agencies over the past 20 years. Read more here. Al Jazeera's Charlotte Bellis reports on the life of Iran's most important general. Former top Iranian commander, we will take vigorous revenge, he joined his martyred brothers, but we will take vigorous revenge on America, Mohsen Rizai, a former commander of Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, who is now the secretary of a powerful state body, said in a post on Twitter. Khamenei warns of harsh revenge Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei called for three days of mourning, saying Major General Soleimani's killing will double the motivation of the resistance against the U.S. and Israel. According to Iranian state television, Khamenei said harsh revenge awaits criminals who killed Soleimani. Top House Democrats, strikes not authorized by Congress U.S. Democratic congressional leaders issued statements condemning President Donald Trump's ordered strikes that killed Soleimani, saying the president did not obtain the congressional approval. 
American leaders' highest priority is to protect American lives and interests. But we cannot put the lives of American service members, diplomats and others further at risk by engaging in provocative and disproportionate actions, said House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Tonight's airstrike risks provoking further dangerous escalation of violence. America, and the world, cannot afford to have tensions escalate to the point of no return, she added. The administration has conducted tonight's strikes in Iraq, targeting high-level Iranian military officials and killing Iranian Quds Force Commander Qasem Soleimani without an authorization for use of military force AUMF, against Iran. Further, this action was taken without the consultation of the Congress. She called for a briefing on the situation. Another top Democrat, Adam Schiff, took to Twitter, saying that American people don't want a war with Iran. Adam Schiff checkmark at Rep. Adam Schiff Soleimani was responsible for unthinkable violence and world is better off without him. But Congress didn't authorize and American people don't want a war with Iran. All steps must now be taken to protect our forces against the almost inevitable escalation and increased risk. Oil prices surge after Soleimani's killing oil prices jumped more than 4% on Friday after news of Soleimani's death. Brent crude futures were up by nearly $3 at $69.16 per barrel, their highest since September 17, as markets feared Iran could retaliate against the killing of its top militiamen by attacking assets of the U.S. and their allies in the Middle East. Read more here. Biden, Trump just tossed a stick of dynamite in a tinderbox. Former Vice President and Democratic presidential frontrunner Joe Biden said while Soleimani deserved to be brought to justice, Trump just tossed a stick of dynamite into a tinderbox. Biden posted the statement on Twitter. The administration's statement says that its goal is to deter future attacks by Iran, but this action will almost certainly have the opposite effect, he said. President Trump just tossed a stick of dynamite into a tinderbox, and he owes the American people an explanation of the strategy and plan to keep safe our troops and embassy personnel, our people and our interests, both here at home and abroad, and our partners throughout the region and beyond. Joe Biden checkmark at Joe Biden My statement on the killing of Qasem Soleimani. Twitter adds info and privacy 8,290 people are talking about this Pompeo tweets video he says is of Iraqis dancing in the streets, Iraqis, Iraqis, dancing in the street for freedom, thankful that General Soleimani is no more. Pompeo tweeted along with a video. Secretary Pompeo check mark at Sec Pompeo Iraqis, Iraqis, dancing in the street for freedom, thankful that General Soleimani is no more. 39.6k people are talking about this more members of US Congress react to US strikes in Iraq several members of Congress took to Twitter to react to Trump ordered raids that killed Soleimani. Republicans praised the move, while many Democrats questioned the US President's ability to order such an attack. Senator and Democratic presidential hopeful Elizabeth Warren said, Soleimani was a murderer, responsible for the deaths of thousands, including hundreds of Americans. But this reckless move escalates the situation with Iran and increases the likelihood of more deaths and new Middle East conflict. Our priority must be to avoid another costly war. Elizabeth Warren checkmark at Iwaran Soleimani was a murderer, responsible for the deaths of thousands, including hundreds of Americans. But this reckless move escalates the situation with Iran and increases the likelihood of more deaths and new Middle East conflict. Our priority must be to avoid another costly WA 21.7k people are talking about this Republican House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy said, Soleimani was a terrorist. President Trump and our brave service members just reminded Iran, and the world, that we will not let attacks against Americans go unpunished. Kevin McCarthy checkmark at GOP leader Soleimani was a terrorist. President Trump and our brave service members just reminded Iran, and the world, that we will not let attacks against Americans go unpunished. 5,418 people are talking about this independent representative Justin Amash said, there's a reason our Constitution grants Congress the power to declare war, every American may be intimately affected by a violent conflict. Soleimani was evil. But our system demands consent for war from the people, acting through their representatives and senators in Congress. Justin Amash check mark at Justin Amash there's a reason our constitution grants Congress the power to declare war, every American may be intimately affected by a violent conflict. Soleimani was evil. But our system demands consent for war from the people, acting through their representatives and senators in Congress. 
10.6k people are talking about this Republican Senator Lindsey Graham tweeted thank you Mr. President for standing up for America. Lindsey Graham check mark at Lindsey Graham SC 11H replying to at Lindsey Graham SC if Iranian aggression continues and I worked at an Iranian oil refinery I would think about a new career. Lindsey Graham check mark at Lindsey Graham SC thank you Mr. President for standing up for America. 2081 people are talking about this Democratic Senator Ed Markey said on Twitter, Trump's apparent assassination of Soleimani is a massive, deliberate, and dangerous escalation of conflict with Iran. The president just put the lives of every person in the region, U.S. service members and civilians, at immediate risk. We need the escalation now. Ed Markey check mark at Sen Markey Trump's apparent assassination of Soleimani is a massive, deliberate, and dangerous escalation of conflict with Iran. The president just put the lives of every person in the region, U.S. service members and civilians, at immediate risk. We need the escalation now. HTTPS colon slash slash Twitter dot com slash Washington Post slash status slash 12129075368332206080608. The Washington Post check mark at Washington Post breaking news, airstrike at Baghdad airport kills Iran's most revered military leader, Qasem Soleimani, Iraqi state television reports. 4,778 people are talking about this Iran's Zarif, U.S. act of terrorism, is foolish escalation Iran's Minister of Foreign Affairs Mohammad Javad Zarif warned on Twitter that the U.S. bears responsibility or all consequences of its attack killing Soleimani. The U.S. act of international terrorism, targeting and assassinating General Soleimani, the most effective force fighting Daesh, ISIS, al-Nusra, al-Qaeda et al., is extremely dangerous and a foolish escalation, Zarif tweeted. The U.S. bears responsibility for all consequences of its rogue adventurism. Javad Zarif check mark at J. Zarif the U.S. act of international terrorism, targeting and assassinating General Soleimani, the most effective force fighting Daesh, ISIS, al-Nusra, al-Qaeda et al., is extremely dangerous and a foolish escalation. The U.S. bears responsibility for all consequences of its rogue adventure 18.1k people are talking about this PMF spokesman, U.S. and Israeli enemy responsible, Ahmed al-Assadi, a spokesman for the PMF, blamed the U.S. and Israel for Friday strikes. The American and Israeli enemy is responsible for killing the Mujahideen Abu Mahdi al-Muhandis and Qasem Soleimani, he was quoted by Reuters news agency as saying. Iran's state broadcaster confirms Soleimani was martyred, citing a Revolutionary Guard statement. Iranian state television said Soleimani was martyred in an attack by U.S. helicopters near the airport, without elaborating. Pentagon confirms Soleimani killed at direction of the president. The Pentagon confirmed in a statement that Soleimani was killed at the direction of President Trump. At the direction of the president, the U.S. military has taken decisive defensive action to protect U.S. personnel abroad by killing Qasem Soleimani, a Pentagon statement said. This strike was aimed at deterring future Iranian attack plans. The United States will continue to take all necessary action to protect our people and our interests wherever they are around the world. The White House check mark at White House at the direction of the President, the U.S. military has taken decisive defensive action to protect U.S. personnel abroad by killing Qasem Soleimani, the head of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps Quds Force, a U.S.-designated foreign terrorist organization. 20.7k people are talking about this Trump tweets image of American flag President Trump did not comment on the U.S. raids, but shortly after reports surfaced, he tweeted a picture of an American flag. Donald J. Trump check mark. 234k people are talking about this Senator Murphy, did Trump set off a potential massive regional war? U.S. Democratic Senator Chris Murphy questioned whether Trump needed congressional approval to target Soleimani. Soleimani was an enemy of the United States. That's not a question, Murphy tweeted. The question is this, as reports suggest, did America just assassinate, without any congressional authorization, the second most powerful person in Iran, knowingly setting off a potential massive regional war? Chris Murphy check mark at Chris Murphy CT Soleimani was an enemy of the United States. That's not a question. 
The question is this, as reports suggest, did America just assassinate, without any congressional authorization, the second most powerful person in Iran, knowingly setting off a potential massive regional 52.4k people are talking about this Senator Rubio, Quds Force chose the path of escalation US Republican Senator Marco Rubio tweeted that Iran's Quds Force chose the path of escalation. Facing repeated hashtag IRGC attacks the US and at POTUS exercised admirable restraint while setting clear red lines and the consequences for crossing them. Hashtag Iran's Quds Force chose the path of escalation they are entirely to blame for bringing about the dangerous moment now before us. Marco Rubio check mark at Marco Rubio 12h facing repeated hashtag IRGC attacks the US and at POTUS exercised admirable restraint while setting clear red lines and the consequences for crossing them hashtag Iran's Quds Force chose the path of escalation. They are entirely to blame for bringing about the dangerous moment now before us. Marco Rubio check mark at Marco Rubio the defensive actions the US has taken against hashtag Iran and its proxies are consistent with clear warnings they have received. They chose to ignore these warnings because they believed that POTUS was constrained from acting by our domestic political divisions. They badly miscalculated. 2935 7 18 a.m. January 3, 2020 Twitter adds info and privacy 1621 people are talking about this former Pentagon official, no doubt, U.S. wanted to target Soleimani speaking to Al Jazeera, U.S. Assistant Secretary of Defense Lawrence Korb said there is no doubt that the U.S. wanted to target Soleimani for a while. Soleimani killed in U.S. raid at Baghdad airport Major General Qasem Soleimani, the head of Iran's elite Quds force, was reported killed alongside six others following an air raid at Baghdad's international airport. Iraqi officials and the state television reported that aside from Soleimani, Iraqi militia commander Abu Mahdi al-Muhandis was also killed in the attack. Friends don't forgot to subscribe my channel. Like share and comment on video. Thanks for watching.